Hey, what's up guys, Phil here, and today I'm going to show you how to add or upgrade the RAM in your 2019 Acer Nitro 5 laptop. Let's have a quick look at my setup prior to this upgrade. I've got the default 8GB of RAM that came with my Nitro 5 laptop, and I'll be adding an additional 8GB of RAM to see if the performance improves any. For this upgrade, you'll need a mini screwdriver, and optionally, a metal or plastic spudger, plastic pry pick, and or grounding wrist strap if you're worried about damage from static electricity. On the bottom of the laptop are 11 screws that you'll need to remove. The 2019 Nitro 5 laptops eliminated the access panels for the memory and hard drive bay, so you'll need to open the case by removing the bottom panel. For reference, the model number laptop I have is the AN51554 54W2. Now with the pry tool, gently unlatch the catches along the front of the laptop, up both sides, and along the back. Then gently lift the bottom cover off. I'm just going to flip this around so you can see better. Here's where the RAM sticks are housed. I've got here a Hynix 8GB DDR4 2666MHz RAM stick, which exactly matches the one that's already installed in the other slot. Now it only goes in one way, so I'll have to flip this stick over and insert it into the slot at a slight angle, then press it down into place. It should click when it's seated properly. To remove the RAM sticks, pull outward on the two metal clips on the sides, and the chip should pop up, allowing you to remove it. In general, it's best to pair two identical RAM sticks of the same spec and brand, rather than mix capacities and speeds, as higher speed sticks are always limited by the lowest speed in the system. The max total RAM that this laptop can handle is 32 gigabytes, so two 16 gigabyte sticks would be the absolute maximum. While you're in here, you may want to add or upgrade the drives with an M.2 SSD or 2.5 inch drive, so check out my videos for those upgrades in the info bubble above. To replace the bottom cover, start by snapping in all the clips along all four sides. Then replace the 11 screws removed in the first step. Now let's power up the laptop and enter the BIOS settings to make sure the computer sees the new chip. And here we can see it's recognizing that there's 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. We can also see this in Windows in the PC properties. And finally, we can compare the benchmarks for the laptop before and after installing the RAM. In general, programs launch a few seconds faster, and rendering video and editing photos on this laptop experienced reduced processing times. As well, I saw a slight boost to gaming performance. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll put a link to the tools and the components used in this video in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.